Good afternoon, everyone. Denise here from Hair and House Pilates and Yoga. And today we're continuing our core strength series. This is video number five. And as you know, we've been progressing through the series. And so today, again, we're making it more challenging, or as I like to say, more fun. So you'll need a foam roller to work with today. And we're going to lie on it. So what the foam roller will do for you is that it will cause instability in the pelvis and your back area and it'll make your body work a little harder. So, we're going to put the foam roller on the mat and I'm going to lie on it. It's not the most graceful thing to sit on, but we can do it. So you want to make sure you've got leg room behind you. And for those people who use pillows, you can still put your pillow on the foam roller. Drape it over the foam roller and rest your head on it if that's what you need to do. And what's great about the foam roller is it really helps you to be aware of how anchored your low back is, how braced it is, and how anchored your ribs are on the foam roller. So it helps you to focus in a little bit more. So I'm going to go back to video one just very briefly. So your arms are down by your side. And in video one, we let our breastbone sink, let our ribs sink, and felt our back brace into the mat, We're doing it into the foam roller. And we knee fold it up to table and lower down. Barely touching the floor, nice and slow. You can feel the instability of the roller wobble a little bit. So you really have to make sure that your muscles, your abs are really tight, working, helping to support you. I'm going to do one more here. Good. And then I'm going to switch to the other side. Breastbone down, abs are tight, back is braced into the foam roller. It's a little shifting because of the foam roller. One more time. So we're just doing six. Settle. If you like, you can roll your body across your foam roller if you wish to. So this time we're going to knee fold one knee to tabletop. And we're going to take the opposite arm above your head. So the arm will come up when the heel goes down. So this is very, you can see me wibble wobbling a little bit on the foam roller. This is a very unstable position. So back is anchored. Back is braced, breastbones down. Lower your heel, arm over your head. Hip full back, bring the arm down to your side. Push away and pull it in. Push away and pull it in. Push away and pull it in. Push away. And pull it in. We're doing one more. So we're only doing six reps here. And bring it in. And lower your foot to the floor. Now because we're taking our arm over our head and we're lying on the foam roller, don't worry if your fingers and hands don't come down to the floor. It doesn't matter as long as the arms are as back as far as your body will allow you. So we're going to knee fold the other knee up. The hip set, your back is braced, ribs are down. And as you lower your heel, the opposite arm comes over your head, working your opposite obliques. Internal on one side, external on the other. Remember, we're doing six here. One more time. Beautiful, and then come down and gently rock your body from side to side. So now we're moving forward, making it a little bit more difficult. 
I'm going to bring both knees to tabletop. So I'm very unstable now. Very, very unstable. And we're going to carry on. I'm going to lower your right heel and bring it back up. Really focus on keeping the ribs and the back braced. We did eight. Come back up. Feel your back settle. Switch legs. Feel that body working hard to stay on the foam roller. Two more. We're doing eight. And then gently lower your feet. Give yourself a little tiny break and rock your body side to side. Just eases everything. All right, so again, we're moving forward. We're going to tabletop position. Good. And we're going to do opposite arm movement and opposite leg movement. So I'm going to lower my right leg, take my left arm over my head and bring them back up. Go as slow as you can. This is difficult. It's very challenging. Is it ever fun? Two more. Good. Bring it up. Back to your table position. When you're doing this, one side is always a little more difficult than the other. And this is my difficult side. Whoopsie, there we go. Three more. One more. Good, and gently lower your feet and rock it out side to side. I did it. You can too. So back to center. Table position. So we're going to get the adductors involved. Lower your heel, bring it up. Both knees are going to come apart, and I'm going to alternate. So we're doing hip, hip folds with frog adduction, and we're alternating the movement. One more set. Good, and then you lower it down. Let your body rest and rock it out side to side. So the last one we're going to do on the foam roller is complete frog from a table position and alternating arm arcs. So let your back sink, bring one knee in to table, bring your other knee into table, feet and knees together. And pull the knees apart and squeeze them together and take your arm over your head. So we're just going to do one arm. Two 
still are. Bring the arm down. Switch sides. Remember, one side so much more challenging. The opposite arm goes over your head, knees apart. Bring the arm down. Adduction and oblique work to strengthen you, to improve stabilization within your trunk, to allow you to have ease of mobility in your everyday lives. Two more. And then gently lower your feet to the floor. And then roll to one side and come up to a seated position. That was very challenging. I hope you've had fun with it. And if you're having some difficulty with it, just keep at it. It gets easier the more you do it. We'll see you next time for Core Strength next video. Take care. Bye, everybody.